I fell in love with him immediately already just um, I was sent a video of him and I was lying on the sofa in the sitting room at home pretty ill and I saw this video of this young chap here and I was like that that is my horse <laughs> I just brought him back a little bit, now we go on again, and all I do is I, s I don't walk with him anymore. Good boy, and on. What about all this knitting? How do you manage it? <laughs> um, when you first start it can be tricky, but basically it's, pretty, it's, it's more simple than it looks. You've got two reins for the two horses at the back and two reins for the horses at the front. So each horse has a rein obviously on either side and the reins go down and then split. With This is big hills, through the fords, slowly going, boggy going, good going, bit of road work, but not much usually. It's, um, you know, it's a variability, really, and you've got to keep thinking about what's happening. Um, how's my horse coping? Do I need to slow down? Can we pick up a bit more speed? Because you don't want to be too slow. Um, so it's, it's that, really, that keeps you thinking the whole time. Although this is an advanced horse, it's important that this kind of exercise is still done properly from the beginning. It's jumping small, pretty straightforward fences, but the basic discipline of being able to get your groundwork right, the same as with dressage, is completely fundamental to both show jumping and cross-country riding. Um, now, you know, we've got the problem where there's only three on a team, so if there were four, you can take a slightly more um, bigger risk that you take a younger horse that's not got so much experience. But they knew that I'd already done an Olympics and that he was um, very consistent in the arena and wouldn't let us down in terms of having a reaction to the environment. I think everybody needs to learn a certain amount of um, all-round horsemanship with horses, whether they do jumping, dressage, or, or even sort of you know, carriage, you know, driving. Um, I think basically working with horses, you need to know basically first about the horse and then about the discipline. Tim's all stopped outside. Oh, watch, 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 watch. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Going into the last round. Uh, well, I, I I just looked in it two ways really. It was twenty five thousand to the winner, and if I had one down, I would have got nothing. So <laughs> I just kept thinking about the money. To be honest, if you were being told to sit up, what would happen if you actually did it? Yeah, yeah, you would. You you, yeah. you push the chair, and that actually hollows the back, yeah. and that makes the back very rigid. And we want the back to be. Um, <clears throat> connected, but we don't want it to be actually locked and unelastic here because otherwise um, you wouldn't be able to um, absorb the horse's movement efficiently. The horse picks up everything that you're feeling. So if you're saying, oh my goodness, they go, oh my goodness. And then, so you have to be, oh, it's fine, it's okay, we can't, you know, we, we're nearly there. And so, of course, when you've got on the last loop, you great, great, and the horse goes, Great, I'm not tired, we can do it. How much land have you got here? We have 100 acres. 100 oh, acres? Yes. Wow, how do you look after all of that? It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> but you do it regularly, I can see the grass looks beautiful. What do you love about driving? It's the, um, the amazing feeling of controlling five horses. I've evented, I've show jumped, and I've done low level ridden dressage, and I can assure you that this is 
in a league of its own compared to, I love doing the other sports, but this is Formula One. Thank you.